To me, the best food always tells a story. It speaks of the country, the time and the place. Well, hopefully today we'll see some colour colour, which um, we'll use maybe in a sorbet later. And then we're also going to look for some manono bark, which um, has a bright orange colour and we can use it in sauces. The First Nations culture of New Zealand is vibrant and deep. And for me, that's why it's so exciting to see Monique Fesso using her own culture to create a cuisine which is contemporary, new, and has never been done before in New Zealand. I think it took people a lot more convincing at the start that Māori ingredients had a place on today's culinary scene. We've been able to prove that not only is there a market for it, but there's a lot of possibilities with these ingredients. You know, growing up, my mother felt really disconnected from her Māori heritage, so it makes me feel really proud to do what I do now. You know you're making new discoveries that will help the next generation of New Zealand chefs maybe understand our ingredients a little bit better than my generation of chefs understood our ingredients. When everything's going right in your life and in the world, it's really easy to be on top. Listening to Monique speak today about the things that she's overcome and the journey that she's on made me think that her food and her story in the restaurant had even more integrity. And that's beautiful.